I mean, I, I don't know how to say this. It, it, it breaks my heart to tell you guys, but uh, I might have to stop doing these day of eating reviews because as you can tell, I've completely lost my hair. And the reason for that is my brain cells have expunged themselves through my hair follicles. And then correspondingly, it just, you know, started shedding off my head. I, I didn't know what to do. But, um, you know, here we are again, guys. So please make sure, you know, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, support me through my businesses, guys, because who knows, I might start losing my actual brain might start coming out of my ear, you know, pink sludge matter, you know, don't be surprised if you see something leaking out of there. So anyway, uh, we're going to see this very lovely young lady uh, try to convince us that following a diet of whatever she wants is good for you. I always think about doing this, so now I'm going to do it. Every day this week, I'm going to be eating like 4,000 calories. I'm going to be eating a lot this week because I don't think... That Holy sh... Out. How do I get traps like that? Jesus. That's like... <laughs> I mean, I'm eating enough to maintain my weight, but I've gotten into this eating routine that makes me feel comfortable, but maybe is neglecting my hunger. So by eating a lot more than I usually allow myself to, I will see how I actually feel and figure out if I was just convincing myself I was full. So it's time to throw what I think. Oh, listen, I get it. You're pretty, you have a lot of followers, you have an eating disorder, so you're skinny, but that doesn't give you, you know, intelligence to, to give other people dietary advice. So <laughs> let's see where this is going. Into the shrink. I thought shrink meant jail. I mean, psychologist. You know what I mean. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Oh! Today's day one of Bulking Up My Body and My Life series title not official so for this week i'm going to be diligently making sure that i'm getting enough food and actively eating more challenging myself and the theme today is homemade meals fresh 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 chip off the block watch my head spin i got awkward thoughts and a neck twitch i fall off the knot then i get up i'm the slot to watch that's an effort i stop with the pot i don't understand how is eating more calories challenging yourself yeah, I, I, honestly, I got to give it to the, these psychos. They, they really come up with some creative nonsense to justify whatever they do. Sausage, egg and cheese wrap, yogurt plus fruit. Eh, you know, I'm not against this meal compared to what most people eat for breakfast. If it's all conventional stuff, obviously, there's a lot of downsides to it. But, you know, at least there's some animal protein in the meal. Yogurt might have some probiotic benefits. On the contrary, if you did get, you know, organic everything, pasture-raised farm eggs, Iberico pork sausage, grass-fed cheese, raw yogurt from a local farm with like very high quality probiotic range. This would be an exceptionally healthy meal, but we know it's not. Got my head You interested in that? You interested? Absolutely not. You know what? Get away. <gasps> now I'm going to tell you a few reasons why it is so hard for me to commit to this for the entire week. One, the guilt and second guessing. I always think about doing this video, eating more than I usually do for a week. And the idea is nice. But when I get to the eating part, I second guess why I, the hell I'd be doing that. And my thoughts completely flip. I run a lot in circles with my thoughts and my... How out of touch with reality do you have to be about your eating disorder that you think it's okay to go on YouTube and start making up this nonsense? It's, a, it's actually, it's actually ridiculous. The answer is to just not accommodate the conversation. Eat your snack like you're in a music video. Come on, people, push me. I'd really appreciate your support and accountability in the comment section. This community is unreal. Let's just do this thing together, okay? So same problem as the first meal, because nothing is organic or high quality, we do have some agrochemical concerns. Uh, the waffles are usually made with fortified flour, which has like reduced iron filings, synthetic chemicals, very, very bad for you. Uh, th that's the main thing that will cause me to not eat bread. Like sometimes if I go to a restaurant, I'll have it. But if I ever see fortified flour as an ingredient, I will never touch it. Uh, Nutella is really just palm oil and 
high omega-6 oxidized nuts. Uh, peanut butter is similar in a sense that it's probably oxidized. There's a lot of toxins and chemicals in it. It's high in omega-6. And when you eat stuff like that, you're going to have appetite problems. That That's the real thing that omega-6 does is cause you to keep eating and eating and eating because it signals your body to put on fat. That's, that's the role it plays. We don't normally have these linoleic acid rich foods available to us in nature in large amounts uh banana mm, you know one of the worst foods for gut health but you know if this girl's eating stuff like this and she's not having issues then uh, she's not in a very poor state of health just yet hello i am back with yet another meal to be made i'm thinking a chicken pasta <laughs> Notice that when I actually start eating, it's a little bit darker. Another obstacle that gets in my way is that I tend to push meals back. I find now, this is a little confusing because this is I ate 4,000 calories every day for a week, so she could still be doing her eating disorder nonsense. You know, we're already on day three, she only showed us two meals. So, is she only eating one meal a day and still restricting her calories? Da, da, da. And that's the big problem I have with it if it fits your macros group, where you know, people look at the carbohydrate the fat the protein content the overall macronutrients the calorie number as their end all be all to their body composition and health and what that causes people to do is just starve themselves deprive their body of nutrients everything it needs and then they end up going on these binges and bulks to eat a whole lot of crappy low quality food to attempt to get some nutrition in without actually understanding that if you ate high quality organic foods that were prepared naturally you would end up having a better body composition you wouldn't put on unhealthy weight you'd feel a lot better overall and you wouldn't have appetite issues every reason not to do it it's like if i push it back there's less time to eat solemn stuff i still have a bit to work on but that does not negate all the progress that i have made like how i'm about to smash this burger and cake challenge Seatbelt, got the goods. Thrive. On May 20th, I am launching Thrive Book. It is a recovery journal and five day food challenge to conquer your fear of foods, to kickstart your recovery, or just to spice up your routine for the week. I've been working so hard on this and I know that this would have been helpful for me at the beginning of my recovery. So I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. I don't know if you know this about me, but a burger girl in a Barbie world. Classic Relatable. Quote. Usually I would opt to having a burger out, but because we're doing all meals made at home, I'm gonna put some efforts into making this burger a little bit more jazzy. Right here. I don't want to spoil too much, but of course I had to add the classic burger and cake challenge as part of Thrive Book. Make sure you click the link in the description to sign up. That will show me that you're interested. All right, so she's selling a journal which probably costs her two or three dollars to make and she's selling it for 12 bucks i mean you can't really complain about that girl's trying to make a little bit of money it's nothing crazy you know it's not overpriced she's not poisoning people but uh i'm curious if any girls actually buy into this nonsense this is kind of silly fork it up this book is here to light a fire up your arse however it's you you are in control ultimately you make changes you take action and nobody can do that for you so don't wait for anybody's permission cannonball Starting these challenges means you're fully 100% committed to building a life free from destructive rules and rituals. This does not mean do a challenge here, compensate there. These challenges are here for additional encouragement and to push you outside your realm of comfort. Don't continue to live in limbo by accommodating the eating disorder's thoughts. Uh, well, I, grammar is definitely not her strong suit and uh, she may a typo down here too. Enjoy fulfillment in the process. So I guess the attention to detail isn't too high here either. Stood in this challenge and you will receive exclusive updates going forward. This is aimless love. Sitting alone around my room until... My I, I mean, I don't really want to sound like a broken record here with the lack of ingredient quality. But, you know, when you make your own bread or buy organic bonds, when you have grass-fed beef, high-quality cheese, you're doing every single thing good you reduce the chemical component but when you do something like this you're still basically poisoning yourself you know if you want to eat stuff like this and you go out to a restaurant once a week once every two weeks it's not the end of the world but you know this is why you know people are unhealthy people are unhappy people have eating disorders is because of those chemicals 
altered omega fatty acid ratios and the damage that these foods are doing to our bodies. My day is done. Can you find the beauty in the small things? I am making a cake at 11.15 p.m. at night. This is aimless love. I washed my face, picked my face, and now is the perfect time to get started with this cake. Instead of just not doing it, I'm gonna do it. And I feel like that's super inspirational. The water's warm. The day is long. But that's alright. All I want is extra time to spend with you. It's cream cheese. Mmm. I'm glad I made it. See, the Thrive Book is going to be a lot of commitment. I'm not saying otherwise. It's going to be challenging. It's going to take effort. But. Bro, you're eating fucking Duncan Hines cake mix from a box. This girl is fucking crazy. Nothing she says makes any sense whatsoever. The biggest problem with uh, those types of boxed cakes is they're really, really, really high in vegetable seed oils. Of course, there's chemical ingredients and nothing's organic or high quality, but you know they're real. If, if they use butter or like a natural fat source in those cakes, people wouldn't be nearly as unhealthy. This is a huge commitment to what to make fucking Duncan Hines boxed cake at twelve in the morning like a fucking pregnant woman in heat. What's wrong with these people? Oh, Betty Crocker. I'm sorry. It was Betty Crocker, not Duncan Hines. <laughs> Ladies, there's a few secrets I'm not allowed to talk about on here, but I will tell you that eating like this will not give you abs. The information that most people have access to regarding to diet is so low that they're never able to really discover or explore enough to truly find out what they should and shouldn't be doing. So, you know, regardless of how hungry I was, if I was like starving and didn't eat all day, I would still never go to a place like Dunkin' Donuts. You know, the amount of chemicals, the amount of crap, the quality of this food, you'll probably get physically sick coughing and wheezing and, and feeling feverish for days if you typically don't eat stuff like this or you're, you're just going to be in some type of blind state of mental fog like everyone else who eats these foods on a consistent basis a little bit of sausage oh, see even the dog won't eat the the scrap he, sheets he hated it so much he left the egg kind of tastes soapy the food theme today is ultra processed food. A lot of you guys wanted to see that from me and I'm not against that except for when I actually start feeling guilty and then I will be against that. But then we're not going to have that conversation. We're going to keep going. I mean, you know, this girl's lucky she's young and is able to look like that while eating these foods, but you know, when these girls are in their late 20s, early 30s, the effects of the diet become very apparent. You know, their skin doesn't look good. They look unhealthy. They have cellulite, very poor body composition, the combined lack of nutrients and ridiculous yo-yo dieting. For the most part, all protein and energy bars available in the supermarket are very bad for you. Some are not as bad as others. You know, if you really pick out one or two specific brands that are organic and have minimal ingredients, then yeah, it's kind of passable. Uh, but I think Cliff Bars are one of the worst ones. They use like a lot of soy, non-organic grains. They have vegetable seed oils in there, a lot of processed stuff, just very high omega-6. You're going to store fat. You're not going to feel good eating them. They damage your liver, they damage your organs. It's just, you know, it's crazy to me how even in 2022, when we have so much access to health information, these companies are still putting all this crap in their bars and disguising them as health bars and health products. We're at Sonic. It's a cool place. I need to try something new. Can I get a Sonic cheeseburger meal? And can I get a Reese's peanut butter cup 
Sonic Blast. So we've gone to the Sonic Drive-In. I got my lunch here. It's probably because we always go to Sonic at like 11 o'clock at night. It's become comfortable for me to get like a late night meal, but at lunchtime it's still scary for me. So that's interesting. It's scary because the sun's out. They make the best Sonic Blasts. If I'm gonna have yes, a milkshake. Yes, the best ever Sonic Blast. <laughs> yes, there's no other place that would make a better Sonic Blast than Sonic. <laughs> Thank Blast. you. You too, Thank thanks you. a lot. And that makes you wonder, like, do these people actually eat this crap, or is this some type of like kin promotion so more people go to Sonic? Yeah, you could kind of tell when this girl eats, she is hungry. Like, you know, this isn't a normal three meal a day, just feel like eating, just it, almost like she's ravenous and lacking calories and stuff. Cheeseburger, tater tot, Sonic Blast. I mean, any fast food cheeseburger is going to have so many chemicals. It's feedlot, grain-fed beef. It's estrogenic. It's highly heated. It's horrible for you. Tater tots, you know, potatoes, fried and vegetable seed oil. You feel like shit eating them. Sonic Blast, conventional dairy, sugar. Uh, you know, it's interesting that when you go high quality with all of these, you know, despite the negative connotation of those types of foods, it's actually very good for you and you'll feel a lot better on it and you won't be damaging your body. You, know, you can eat junk food, cheat meals, all that stuff if you make them yourself with homemade ingredients, but that requires a lot of effort on the sourcing and cooking department that most people aren't willing to put in or have the knowledge to understand the importance of. This guy's like, uh, what's that actor's name? A budget Tom Hardy. That's what that guy reminds me of. Hey, I feel like I've been pushing this off. I had my lunch maybe an hour and a bit ago, but I haven't started on this, and I should. They give you this long spoon. It's kind of like a McFlurry, except double the size, which is exciting. And also this flavor, Reese's Buttercup Sonic Blast. Let's go. That type of stuff is hyper palatable too. When you have like conventional eggs or seed oils in these types of shakes and smoothies, people just can't stop eating them. Even regular high quality ice cream with pastured eggs is very palatable. But, you know, people will have this type of meal from Sonic and then an hour or two later, you know, be hungry to eat something else. Or as if that meal was with the high quality ingredients, you know, it would keep them over all day. They wouldn't have to eat anything. Just Reese's Pieces chocolate inside of this. Ditto. Ditto. Wow, that's that's quite big. Oh. Okay. For dinner, I had to really force hype myself up to eat the pizza. I was still really full from the rest of the day. I mean, it tasted good. Pizza is always good. It's just, I think there's another issue. I get full or I get fake full. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think of this video and I'll make amendments going forward for the rest of the week. Yes, madam. Yeah, clearly, clearly forcing herself to devour half a pizza very quickly. So the cinematography or however you want to call it, the chronology in this video is not clear at all it's very confusing and she seems to have broken it down into three videos about eating 4,000 calories for a week I, I really don't know but it's gotten quite a bit of views over 100,000 for the first one so a lot of people are seeing this and you know in the comments you know you can tell that these people are relating they all have eating disorders and they're trying to recover from very severe psychological and, and mental issues around food and all of that is really to blame on the quality of the food that we have allowed the government to give us. You know, the people that are responsible for the food supply are basically poisoning us. And because of that, people are becoming unhealthy and their body composition reflects that. They're fat, they're not attractive, they don't look good, they gain weight very easily. And I, I think the biggest, if not one of the biggest issues with fertility, well, this is 100% factual, in young women is is their dietary restrictions and them trying to stay skinny or attractive or that type of stuff reduce their calorie intake you know imagine a girl in high school who has an eating disorder and barely eats anything and she goes to college and the only thing she does is drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes because she's trying to restrict her food intake so 
you know, there's a lot of girls that destroy their health when they're young and they think they're staying skinny, but in reality, they're going to lose their beauty very, very, very quickly following those types of diets. And this girl is, is, is not helping anyone whatsoever. She's just eating junk food, not explaining anything about nutrition, not, not encouraging people to do anything better psychologically. She's just trying to justify that it's okay to eat crap for a week when in reality, it's not, it's not okay to eat crap. Is this type of diet better than a girl starving herself? Probably, but you know, it's two wrongs don't make it right. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe if you guys uh, drop enough likes and subscribe enough, my hair will start growing back. So you can check out all of my businesses on frank com if you would like to support me further. But thanks again for joining guys and I'll see you for the next video.